this plant burns about a train, a train load of coal per day, which is about 100 train cars. Each train car holds about 100 tons. It's about 10,000 tons of coal per day. Chesterfield Power Station consists of four coal units and two gas-fired units. The coal units operate very simply. We take coal, comes in in coal cars each day, and we crush it up, run it on conveyor belts into the plant, and then it goes to another stage where it's crushed into very fine powder like talcum powder. At that point, it's blown by large fans into the furnace where it combusts and makes heat. That heat energy is transferred through tubes into water on the other side and boils that water into steam. That steam then runs large steam turbines that run a shaft that turns a generator that then makes electricity that's delivered to our customers. Right. That's the actual coal dust blown into the flame. Very, you know, this is a little, it looks like a little dark shade across the top. Yeah. At uh, our Chesterfield power station, as we have at most of our power stations, we have devices within the furnace that help reduce our nitrous oxide production. Nitrous oxide is a component that ultimately can become smog in the atmosphere. So we like to reduce that right at the furnace. We use low nitrous oxide burners and overfired air to reduce it in the, in the boiler itself. Once the gas comes out of the boiler on three of the four units here, we have devices called selective catalytic reduction devices. And that's like the catalytic converter on your car. It takes the nitrous oxide that's produced in the furnace when you combust air and coal and separates out the nitrous oxide back into nitrogen and oxygen, which is available in the air as we breathe it today. So it basically puts it back the way it was before it went through the combustion process. Once the flue gas comes out of that, it goes through a device to remove particulate matter, either electrostatic precipitator, which is like electrostatic air cleaner in your home, or it goes through a bag house. A bag house is very similar to the bag you might have on your vacuum cleaner at home. The air goes through, any particulate matter gets stuck in the bag, and we periodically empty those bags out and clean them and replace them. The last step is, the, is a scrubber or a flue gas desulfurization device that removes the sulfur dioxide and the mercury from the flue gas. And the way they work is quite simple. We take limestone and grind it up into a fine powder, mix it with water to create a slurry, and then spray that into the flue stream. The flue gas goes through this limestone mixture and chemically creates a chemical which becomes gypsum. It's the same stuff that's used in wallboards. In fact, this facility will supply gypsum to a local wallboard manufacturer to recycle the material into wallboard for people to use in their homes. And once you do that, the mercury and the sulfur dioxide comes out of the flue gas. What you see go up the stack has moisture in it and no more sulfur dioxide or mercury. <laughs>